But uh, today it's another really important uh, because the schoolboy who now is poised to take over and become king of uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, I call him a schoolboy, reckless schoolboy, uh, is the, the last effort which, be, which is being made by the Zionists, the last effort which is being made by the State of Israel through, through the schoolboy to provoke Sunni Shia civil war in the House of Islam. They tried. They tried with a bogus jihad in Syria and in Iraq. It didn't work. No, because Allah sent Putin and sent Russia to stop them in their tracks. And they hit, they hit. Oh, they hate Putin for that. Oh, they hate him because had it not been for Putin and for Russia, then Syria would have become another Libya and these misguided schoolboys would have been celebrating. That's the amount of sense they have in their heads. They don't have sense, they got peanuts in their heads. Thank Allah that Syria has not become another Libya. Thank Allah a thousand times. You don't like what I'm saying? You can go and jump in the sea if you want. Thank Allah that Syria has not become another Libya. And there are millions and millions and millions of Muslims who think the way I do. Who say, thank Allah that Syria has not become another Libya. A NATO state of Libya today. And uh, then they tried with ISIS to provoke Sunni Shia civil war. And it didn't work with ISIS as well because Putin has stopped it. In his tracks. And now ISIS is in the garbage bin of history from where it came out in the first place. And we say, thank Allah. They could hate Putin and hate him and hate him and hate him. And they could keep on rushing, uh, keep on hating Russia from now until Kiamat. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything to us. We don't care two peanuts, two peanuts for your nonsense. Now, thank Allah that because of Russia, ISIS is now back in the garbage bin from where it came out in the first place. You have to forgive me for being so angry with these school boys. So now they're making their last effort and they're hoping for success with this one. It didn't work with the bogus jihad. No, it didn't work. And they're very angry because of that. It didn't work with ISIS. No, it didn't work. And they're very angry because of that. They're licking their wounds now. And so now they're trying one more time with a schoolboy in Saudi Arabia called Mohammed bin Salman to provoke war with Iran because Iran is Shia. That's why. They want to provoke war with Iran so that they can provoke Sunni Shia civil war in the house of Islam. It is not Saudi Arabia really who is doing it. It is Israel. Yes, it is the Israeli Mossad. They are the ones behind it and they're using the schoolboy. They're using the schoolboy. And there are many in Saudi Arabia who will now be waking up and saying, yes, Sheikh, you were right all the time. We should have listened. We should have listened to you warning all the time. When you re reminded us of the hadith, when the Prophet, والسلام, he said, Allahumma barik lana fi shamina wa yamanina. O oh Allah, kindly grant us barakah in our sham, which is Syria. The heart of Sham is Syria. And O Allah, kindly grant us barakah, blessings in our Yemen. Our Yemen. Our Yemen. It is Shamina. Our Sham. It is Yemenina. Our Yemen. Let me repeat that for the school wise. Allah's messenger is talking about our Sham. Shamina. He's talking about our Yemen. Yemenina. And he asks for Allah's blessings on our Sham and our Yemen. Every Saudi knows this hadith. And then the people ask him, O Messenger of Allah, what about our Najd? Now tell me. 
the Arabian Peninsula has these two major parts. One part is the Hejaz, in which is located Mecca and Medina. And next door, just next door, not in Iraq, you dum dum. Next door is Najd. Next door is Najd. Riyadh is in Najd. Dammam is in Najd. So now, when, he, uh, when they ask, Oh Allah's messenger, what about our Najd? Don't you have any, anything more than peanuts in your head? Can't you understand? He's talking about the Najd, which is next door to Hijaz. That is our Najd. Not a nudge in Iraq or a nudge in Chicago. These people have peanuts in their heads. And you could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk to them. They'll never listen. So what do we do? Leave them. Leave them and let's proceed. Let's move on. And so there are many today in Saudi Arabia who will be saying, yes, Sheikh, you're right. This is the nudge he was talking about when they ask, O oh, messenger of Allah, what about our nudge? And then he pointed to the Najd, which is to the east of Hejaz. And he says, from this Najd is fitna and earthquakes, tests and trials, and that which will cause you grief and affliction. And he says, there is the current of shaitan. The age of shaitan is there from Najd. And that's where they came from, the present rulers of Saudi Arabia. That's where your leaders came from, Najd. It's a Najdi rule that you have. And we've been saying that to you for so many years. And now perhaps you're beginning to realize that this explanation of that prophecy of Nabi Muhammad wasalam, is correct. Because the schoolboy who now rules over you, ready to take over from his father, is now acting on behalf of the Israeli Mossad with another attempt to provoke Sunni Shia civil war. If Sunni Shia civil war, may Allah prohibit, may Allah grant that this may never happen, but if it were to take place, then Saudi Arabia will claim to be the leader of the Sunni world and therefore get away from all the... the Betrayal, that they have betrayed the world of Islam for 70 years in the alliance with the Zionist world, in the alliance with the United States. Shameless, shameless, shameless alliance with the Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance with the United States. That's what Saudi Arabia has been. Shamelessly betraying us. And so now they will claim to be the leaders of the Sunni world. Saving Sunni Islam from Shia Islam, that's the master plan.